Hello, Church on the Hill today. Nathan Renfro continues his first impressions fireside chat with part two. And I want to remind you that this weekend we will not be having services in person. The only people who will be uh, up at the church will be the cleaning team and the check-in team. They will be doing the walkthrough and training so that we are being prepared to reopen soon. Uh, right now the plan is to reopen on Mother's Day, May 10th, which is a week from Sunday. Uh, if you have any questions about our reopening plan, you can see it at the link at the bottom of the screen and uh, you can watch our video announcement and know more about it. Also, this Sunday evening at 5 p.m., if you're interested in helping distribute some care packages to our senior adults, please show up at the church. You need to be sure to have a mask with you uh, so that we can keep our senior adults and those who are vulnerable, if you will, safe during this time. God bless you. I love you, and I hope to see you soon. Now let's listen to Nathan. Hey, good morning, Church on the Hill family again. I wanted to welcome you to part two of the Fireside Chats. Um, First impressions. Uh, yesterday we talked about God and his first impression in scripture, uh, how he created uh, the heavens and the earth and uh, what that means during this time. Uh, I want to continue to talk to those that um, are struggling with finding work and employment and uh, I want to encourage you not to uh, become too stressed. Um, uh, keep it a concern, but take it to the Lord. And I just want to encourage you with uh, two scriptures today, one out of Isaiah 42 and one out of 2 Corinthians 5.17. Before we get started today, uh, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. God, we thank you for what you continue to do. Lord, uh, I lift up those that are struggling uh, in their faith this morning, Lord. I pray that you would send a word and send your Holy Spirit to just settle over them and calm their heart, calm their anxieties, uh, calm any frustration that they have, Lord. This is a time not to focus on what's falling apart or what focus on what feels like falling apart. But this is a time to focus on you, just as the Israelites did with Moses and the uh, brazen statue of the, of the snake. Uh, Lord, I, I love that you are still using Old Testament scripture uh, in our current society that uh, throughout hospitals and clinics uh, that are in hospitals and makeshift tents in uh, convention centers and in stadiums. Lord, it's a telling time that um, you promised that we know the end is drawing near. We know that you're coming back. And Lord, help us to keep that at the forefront of our minds through this time. Uh, we love you and we thank you. Amen. All right, so let's get into it. Isaiah 42, 9. Uh, it says, Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Lord, my prayer uh, for you and for your family this morning is that you get on your knees and ask God to uh, console you, console your family, and ask him, uh, what new things do you have for me, God? Make them known. Uh, help me to walk in that. Help me to step into it. Uh, throughout Scripture, we see uh, men and women that uh, seemingly are running away from the Lord and step into their purpose. Uh, they may not have known all of the intricate details because they didn't even have the historical uh, text and historical Scriptures that we have now. Uh, it was being written. And what faith they had to step into what God had designed for them and for their life. Uh, his word says the former things, the things that you once thought uh, made up your life and were for you, they have come to pass. And new things I now declare, says the Lord. And before they spring forth, I tell you of them. He wants to tell you. 
He wants to show you what he has for you. Um, keep, keep on. Uh, keep the faith. Keep going. You're not over yet. Uh, the Lord is not through with you. In 2 Corinthians 5.17, Paul uh, reminds us in the New Testament, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old things have passed away, and behold, the new has come. Are you ready for the new things to come that God has for you? Are you ready? Get ready, because here they come. <laughs>